wonder what Jeremy Clarkson would think. I wonder if he'd approve. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Kaiser Saleem. Welcome back to Rendered with Kaiser. On today's episode, we're gonna take a look at an almost practical, stylish Italian classic. That being an Alfa Romeo GTV6. Now this car typically isn't something I would work on or have worked on before. I do love Alfa Romeos. And I also love the impracticality of this coupe. So let's make it even more Unpractical. Okay then, so, Alfa Romeo GTV6. I don't know whether I should say if this is a popular Alfa or a well-known Alfa. I mean, I'm sure it is, but I remember my first experience with this car, and I think probably only experience with this car was from Top Gear and Jeremy Clarkson. So I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Again, I'll search on Google, see if there's a 3D model floating around, which there was. Um, I went to Turbo Squid this time and bought a model. It looks like a decent model. I'm open that in 3ds Max. Again, I use 3ds Max and Corona as a 3D modeling software and Corona as the rendering uh, software that I'm using. You can use so many, Blender, Unreal, Octane, there's loads out there. Just choose whichever one works best for you. This is a cool looking car. Uh, but yeah, let's see how we get on. First off, I think when I first started to Google this car, I was like, is it a good car? I don't know if it is. And a few reports were kind of as I expected. It's an old car, it's ratty or rattly, and kind of unpleasant to drive. And I think I remember Jeremy complaining about that also. But it's an old Alpha, and it looks kind of cool because it's quirky. Um, and obviously it's a two-door coupe or sportback. Yeah, it's a very interesting looking car. So you'll see that I kind of started off with the typical things, mocking up a fender design and fender shape that I like, trying to follow the body of the original car and just exploring shapes and seeing how they work together with the car. I put in some wheels just so I could kind of roughly figure out the stance and whatnot. I kind of chopped the original OEM front splitter so I could design my own and morph that on there, inspired by my Julia GTA design from a while ago, just trying to adapt it to this car. And it is, it's a cool looking thing when you lower it a bit, get some bigger wheels on there, but this is me. I make useless cars for the sake of it. I then figured, well, why not make it even more useless? And this is something I'm quite known for doing, just making cars useless, because why not? It's a 3D image, it's not real. Although most people complain when they're not real, although some, it's questionable whether it should be real or not. But with this one, it, it kind of works really well. Again, it's a two-door, so it's completely useless. But I thought, why not turn it into a shooting brake? That really awkward rear slope on the roof. Like, let's do something with it. Why not extend it all the way back? So that's exactly what I went ahead and did. And I was quite happy with the results. Didn't really do much to the car. I didn't make it more usable or not. If anything, it probably hindered you from opening the actual boot. But imagine that there's ways around that and there's shut lines in there and it just drops open or whatever. But yeah, I turned it into a shooting brake and Honestly, it was kind of a home run from that point. It just made that rear roof, like the roof line make sense entirely. And I was really enjoyed it. So I kind of just kept on finessing the front splitter, finessing the fenders, the wide body, added some side skirts on there, messed with the lights a little bit. Honestly, this is a really simple build. Like it's nothing crazy, nothing too over the top. Yes, I've lowered it, but it's not slammed. You know, it's not like fully on the ground. Not a lot of camber on the wheels either, so it could be a lot worse. The shooting brake kind of really helped me see the end vision for this. So I started just finishing off, adding in details, adding in some bolts here and there, adding thickness to the parts. Uh -huh. 
So next steps, what I'm going to do is I have kind of just very quickly put together a salt flats kind of 3D environment. I'll put the car in there, try some different color options, see what works, change the wheels on. I went with some rotor forms that I thought worked quite nicely. The D DIAs, I think, the Countach type wheels, but they worked really well on this. It's a lot of fun, figured why not. Let's have a let's have a little bit of a closer look at the car, I guess. Okay then, so I think we are pretty much done in terms of the, the design of the car. So I've quickly just imported it into that environment that I mentioned before, and you'll notice I've kind of just, I already had a little play with the colors. Yeah, so I'm using Corona here, and it's a progressive renderer, but it's not like Unreal where it's immediate. So it does take a little, a little bit to come into fruition, but when it does, it's there. I also have volumetrics on at the moment, so kind of for it to properly denoise and whatnot, it takes a little bit of extra time, but it's enough for you to get an idea of what's happening. So yeah, you'll see that the car is now a bit of a blue. I was inspired by old Alfa race cars. One of my friends, Joanna, she very kindly reminded me that Alfa's had kind of this really cool color scheme, like silver color scheme with the yellow front end, which I have adapted here and I really like it, but I think I'll just try a few different colors, see if anything else works better. See, I've also added lights to the car front and rear. Oh, damn. Yellow looks quite good. Spicy yellow. I already know I'm going to do the renders blue, but this yellow is also a very nice alternative. So you'll see I've added, I've added bolts onto the fenders. I mean, you will see when it eventually decides to render out, but I s just started to add details like bolts, add some dirt and grime to the car because it's on the salt flat, so it's going to be a little bit dirty. I like this very much. And as per usual, let me know what you think below. Let me know what cars you'd like to see. A lot of you've had some really cool suggestions, especially on the McLaren Buick Riviera mashup. I wonder what Jeremy Clarkson would think. I wonder if he'd approve. Once again, thank you all very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. It was certainly not a crazy one for me, but I had a lot of fun making it. That's the important thing. Um, so yeah, please give a like and subscribe if you wish to. Hit that little bell notification if you want to see future episodes. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time for something that's been bugging me a little bit.